वेलकम टू माय व्यूज एंड न्यूज अनदर वीडियो फॉर यू फर्स्टली वाइल्ड टॉक्स आर अंडर वे इन साउथ अफ्रीका बिटवीन टेगराय रीजनल गवर्नमेंट एंड इथियोपियन फेडरल गवर्नमेंट इथियोपियन पीएम आबी इज कंप्लेनिंग ऑफ फॉरेन इंटरफेरेंस इन एन इंटरव्यू ही स्पोक अबाउट इंटरवेंशन फ्रॉम लेफ्ट एंड राइट लॉट्स ऑफ इंटरवेंशन ही सेड he talked about tplf as well tagarai people liberation front what did he say about tplf secondly gata choreda tagarai's negotiator in talks in south africa with ethiopian federal government representatives today spoke after a gap of a few days and he lashed out at isaias evoki at eritrean forces and secondly he made some claims about uh, uh, atrocities being committed in tigray what did he say is gatacho exaggerating what is happening on the ground in tigray Firstly, was Ethiopian PM Abi was interviewed by a news channel where he spoke about interference in lots of interference in Ethiopian internal matters. What did he say? We have a clip for you. Firstly, he said, "Peace and prosperity are linked. Without peace, there cannot be prosperity." Ethiopia is on its way towards uh, food self sufficiency but uh, problem is that there are security issues uh, war is ongoing and without peaceful solution to conflicts uh, there cannot be uh, prosperity in Ethiopia uh, secondly he addressed tigray people vision fund he said we are trying to convince tplf that tplf should respect law of the land it should respect ethiopian constitution uh and he then complained of foreign interference he said uh, uh, of course there is lots of interference from left and right ethiopian should know that there is lots of interference and uh, then he spoke about shire adwa aksom that the cities are under the control of fal forces and their uh, ethiopian fal government is providing food aid and um, services are being restored to he ended his talk on a positive note that peace will prevail in ethiopia now firstly he did not use the word terrorist for tplf he just said tplf uh, because we here uh, federal government representatives uh, mostly address tplf as terrorist tplf did not use the word terrorist for tplf yes he complained of interference it means that uh, ethiopian government is under pressure for immediate stopping of war cessation of hostilities is being uh, uh, urged by international community eu uh, us un now african union too they are calling for immediate stopping of war is it interference in ethiopian internal matters if a country if uh, a body calls for uh, stopping of war is it interference i think interference is if some external players start backing some ethiopian parties some ethiopian groups and so far uh, after the start of this war on the 24th of august tigray uh, became uh, tigray came under tighter siege so no aid is arriving for tdf in tigray no support for tdf yes diplomatically tigray is gaining some support even that support uh, is not very uh, uh, significant uh, us uh, un eu are only calling for stopping of war it's not that uh, they are uh, uh, that they have decided to impose sanctions 
Yes, they have withheld some financial aid. They are not rescheduling loan payments of Ethiopian government. They are not issuing new loans, grants. Uh, they are using carrot and stick policy. Still, TPLF, Tigray fighters are not receiving any logistical support, military support during this round of fighting. Before that, they did receive some support from some neighboring countries. So, good thing is that he ended his talk on a good note. Uh, so, so, it means that uh, Ethiopian government is a little hopeful that the problem can be resolved peacefully. That is why he did not address TPLF as terrorist TPLF. But obviously, Ethiopian government is under pressure. Uh, calls for peace from international community are being termed as intervention by Ethiopian uh, government. Uh, and uh, yes, restoration of services, provision of food in the areas which have come under ENDF control our priority of Ethiopian federal government, that is what uh, is evident uh, after uh, listening to PM Abe's interview. Take a listen to what he said. This is a foundation for uh, prosperity. This is a foundation for a country which is aspiring to, to produce inner food, to, to secure uh, food sufficiency in, in, uh, in a country without peace. There is no way that we can realize our vision. So we are uh, working towards peace. We are trying to convince uh, TPLF to respect the law of the land, to respect the constitution, and to, to act as um, one state in Ethiopia. If they could understand our interest, if they could uh, believe their own constitution and work accordingly, I think uh, peace will be achieved. Of course, if there are lots of intervention from left and right, sometimes it's very difficult. So Ethiopians should understand we can solve our own issue by ourselves. And instead of listening from far, better to respect our own law, better to respect our own culture, better to respect our own customary. If we could do that, peace is achievable. I hope uh, we'll achieve that. Currently in the cities that we uh, control, like Shuri, Aksum, and Adwa, we're providing uh, humanitarian aid. We'll continue to pro provide them the necessary services in our capacity. The federal government in all our capacity, it's our minimum responsibility to assist and to, pro to provide services for our uh, citizens including Tigray. So we are, we are trying all our best to do that. I think we will achieve that. Secondly, we was Geta Choreda Tigray, presidential spokesperson, Tigray's negotiator in talks in South Africa with Ethiopian government representatives today spoke about atrocities being committed in Tigray. Is Gatacho exaggerating? What did he say? He claimed that Isaias led invading forces have stepped up scorched earth policy against civilians in Tigray. That entire towns are being set on fire. Hundreds of civilians are being shelled, extrajudicially killed. And uh, the two regimes have genocidal intent. International community should act. Words will not uh, be sufficient. He said, Isas Averki is committing these atrocities because he thinks he can get away with it. Now, uh, if entire towns are being set on fire in it is very easy to confirm that through different apps, through satellite imagery, you can confirm if an entire town has been set on fire. Tigray regional government, no news outlet, no expert have shared any evidence that entire towns are being set on fire. Yes, there could be some incidents in which END of soldiers burnt some houses. 
Uh, in fact, we two days ago shared a video showing some ENDF soldiers talking about setting on fire uh, houses and some houses were seen and smoke was seen rising from a residential area. So it does not mean that entire towns are being set on fire. Tigray regional government should share evidence if entire towns are being set on fire. Civilians are dying, yes, in air strikes, in dawn strikes, uh, in extrajudicial killings as well, civilians are dying. Number could be disputed. When people exaggerate uh, atrocities happening in Tigray, actually they make uh, the atrocities being committed in Tigray disputed, dubious. They should not exaggerate things. Yes, civilians are being killed. Yes, some houses could be set on fire. But if you are making such a tall claim that entire towns are being set on fire, you should share some evidence as well to back this claim. Isaiah uh, Seferki, Eritrean president, uh, is operating definitely without any fear of uh, international response uh, because uh, he's already under international sanctions. EU, US uh, have done whatever they could against Eritrea. They imposed sanctions years ago against Eritrea. Uh, sanctions did not work. Eritrea did not, uh, Eritrean government did not give in. People suffered. Government did not suffer. Eritrean government did not suffer. People of Eritrea suffered. They are suffered, they are still suffering. That is why uh, uh, whatever international community does, it won't make a difference for Eritrean government. Only Ethiopia can be put under pressure by international community and that is what is happening. EU, US are using their economic leverage against Ethiopian government using carrot and stick policy uh, and they are involved in talks as well. At the same time, they have withheld financial aid, loans, grants for Ethiopian government. That is how they are trying to resolve this uh, conflict peacefully. I think Tigray leaders Tigray government should not exaggerate civilian killings and other atrocities happening in Tigray because it gives the other party uh, an opportunity to reject the actual killings, actual atrocities which are happening in Tigray. Think for